Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of the Digimon Pendulum Cycle. This is a version 8. This device was graciously sent in by our viewer Sneaks. So thank you, Sneaks. I can't wait to... Boy, why are you upside down? That's on the outside. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to leave that as is. Maybe Sneaks did that on purpose. Maybe he's trying to play a goof on me. Let's read the back. Digimon version 8 Pendulum Cycle. Who could that be? Certainly not a Squidmon. The advanced Digimon with new functions now come up. Um... Oh yeah, there it is. Not intended for sales or distribution in the USA, Canada, or Europe. <laughs> Command input battle by shaking function pendulum. New evolution condition, Joe Grass. Beautiful. So this device is a bit of an unknown to me. If it does have any connectivity, uh, I might be able to use my Arduino to connect to them, but oh. Hello. This actually came with an instruction booklet. Well, this can answer some questions, can't it? You know what? Let's just go ahead and get him started, though, because uh, I, I can read that later. Like, it's a Digimon. It's a virtual pet, okay? And who do you think you're talking to other than the unofficial official digital pet boy? Ah, yes, look at that. We can totally use the Arduino to do some battles with this thing. Let's go ahead and... Wait. What's with the tab? They might have reinserted the tab to keep the batteries safe or something like that. Either way, let's just get a look at the shell. Looks like we've got a Gesselmon in here. We've got a Pukumon. I always forget which Digimon that is because that's... I don't, I, I don't believe you that that's a Digimon. I think that's just a crystal with two mons inside of it. It's like a pendant, something one wears around their neck. I don't know. It's always thrown me off. I'm loving this gold shell. It's very simple, you know? Very, very nice and simple. Let's go ahead and give it a pull. Okay, I, I guess I need some batteries. <laughs> this device is from 2003, so I'm curious as to what batteries it will need. We might have been past the point of using LR44s at, at that point, but hard to say. Oh my gosh. Can this come out, please? I, I don't want to rough it or nothing, but like... I want to play with the Digimon. Okay, I, I got the back off, but then it flew off under my desk. I can't... Hold on. <laughs> I found it. Oh, it's a CR2032. Could you imagine if we would have lost that back? Like, thanks, Sneaks, for sending me your device. Uh, I played with it for five minutes and I broke it. I found some cheap batteries I got off Amazon. I sure hope they work. Oh my god, Swedish wood carving knife, no. No, that's a bad Swedish wood carving knife. I have mangled this box. See, I care for other people's things way better than mine. Also, come on, it's just a pack of batteries. It's gonna be okay. Now we can just pop the CR2032 in, and then, yes, we're going to get the very classic beeping. Uh, and then the screws right here. Okay, let me have a look at you. Ooh. Oh, that's a deep set screen. I can already tell you this is going to be a challenge for you to be able to see it and me to be able to see it at the same time. Scanning. Scanning. Okay. I think that's the best that you guys are going to get. Meanwhile, I'm looking at... Ba basically, I see this. This is what I'm seeing, but that's, that's okay. I'll just crane my head over... I'll just lean, wait, up, down? I think I have to move in. Okay, I wanna figure this out. I'm coming to you live from a way up above of my microphone so I can see this virtual pet. So I don't think my pop filter is actually filtering out the pops. So I get that's just gonna have to happen. Ooh, it's a very satisfying beep coming out of this one. Have a listen. Oh, okay, never mind. I was trying to have, show you the beeps, but I accidentally knocked it and then I, I accidentally set the time as uh, midnight. So as soon as this very creepy egg hatch, why is it blinking? As soon as this very creepy egg hatches, uh, they're gonna go to sleep, I think. So I'm gonna have to fix the time here. Can I fix it? Actually right now? Oh, okay, it was PM. Either way, no thanks. Now you can hear the fun beeping. Oh, isn't that beeping so fun? Isn't that just like the funnest beep you've ever heard? So, being a device from 2003 probably also means that the, the mons themselves are going to evolve pretty slowly. But I guess while we're waiting for them to hatch, there's no harm in looking over the instruction booklet. Of course, you would. You would do that to me. <laughs> well, what are you going to be? <gasps> oh, that's just great. Is it, is it great? I can't see it. Hold on, let me, let me look at it. Oh yeah, no, that's pretty great. Oh, weird. So instead of having actual icons across the screen, I just press this top one to go back and forth, I guess. And this is cancel, this is enter. So if I were to go here, yes. Ah, oh, excellent. Zero years old, five pounds. Good beeping, by the way. Their type is nothing. They've got the ability to fight, not. The ability to drill grass, not. And then there's the there's the whole battle counter, strength, and then training. Oh, yeah, that's right. And this device training is its own thing. Well, it's not its own thing, but they actually show you it. There's, like, the strength, and then every four of the thingies, it because Well, I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. The only thing they don't tell you is their name, uh, but I, I know this Digimon. It's a little little cloud, the dark type. Who is it, Mokumon? Yes, it is Mokumon. Mokumon, let's get you some food, okay, buddy? So it's either bread or meat. This is not the choice that I'm usually presented with. I guess let's go with some bread. Oh, it just slides right in. 
Oh, already the animation is just like way ahead. I mean, sure, it's not much, but still way more than you usually get. What the heck? What about meat? Is that, is that the thing for protein then? That you might not want to skip? <laughs> okay, so I gave them one of each. Uh, I didn't do this very scientifically. I suppose I should have given them one and, and then seen what, what it changed, but... Uh, so training went up one. Yeah, okay, so one of those I kind of cheated with. Hunger went up one. Okay, let's do some training, I guess. There's running, there's fighting. There's running, there's fighting. <laughs> I guess we'll do the running. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, uh. It's an old one, so I assume it's just a lot of shaking. Is it- is it good? Oh, did you seriously just say 33? <laughs> Get it! Get it! Oh. It didn't really break like a rocket, more mooshed like Play-Doh. Well, they're a baby. Can't push them too hard. Okay, they refuse to do fight training. They just refuse. Okay, so I got like pretty good results there. It looks like I didn't smash the entire Play-Doh, so... Oh yeah, yeah! Their training went up. So I think it's their strength is the one that only goes up once you fill the training up all the way and then it resets and then you get one strength hard or something like that. I guess let's uh, let me have a little look over with the instructions just to see if there's anything that I'm missing. Because you know me, I like to go through these things pretty blind, but at the same time, it would suck if I missed something vital that the poor little boy needs. Communications, preparations, Digimon birth, time settings. Luckily, there's English here. I mean, the other language isn't Japanese. This is from Hong Kong, so uh, I guess Chinese. Now, here's the thing that I want to know about. I want to know about strength. The Digimon will change the strength during in training. Oh no, the English is bad. The Digimon will change the strength during in training. There are a total of four hearts to show the status. The more heart it has, the stronger it is. Okay, uh, I guess let's read training. Maybe we'll learn something about it. Digimon need more training to fight the other Digimon. There are a total of four squares to show the power. Please press B button to see the Digimon training status. The more square means the more power Digimon have. That doesn't help! I don't... <laughs> let's just train them again and see if, uh, yeah, if my theory is correct. If once training is filled up, then it, you get a strength heart or whatever. Okay, 39. Better. Okay, wa watch this boulder just get smushed. Watch this Play-Doh just go nuts. Oh, Mokumon. God, man, they ran off. I kind of want to do that again, but first I want to... Huh? What you beeping about, buddy? How about this? How about, um... I don't- I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is that it? Nope, that wasn't it. Oh, wait, your training just emptied. But your boxes were filled a second ago. So do you just need more training now? I have no idea what's going on with this this boy. I'm gonna have to read these really confusing, poorly translated instructions in a minute. What did we- oh, 32? I mean, it's fine. It, we're still not gonna moosh the giant Play-Doh. It's just- it just never happens. Oh god, we mooshed even less of the giant Play-Doh than before. Okay, is that what you wanted? Oh yeah, so that was just their angry face. That was their their call kind of animation, which I'm just not used to in Digimon. So what did that give us? It gave us a bit of training. So we'll learn about the versus training later, but it is interesting here to see that it looks like that well, the thing that was in the pendulums before is in this one as well. It's not just about shaking a lot. It's about finding the right range of shakes. So that's why we're doing okay with this, I think, because Mokumon is a typeless. And usually when they're babies, you could just kind of shake it like nuts and they'll just, you know, do okay. But let's go ahead and it, let's see if it's the same as in the pendulums I've played with. Let's see if eight works. Is that good? Okay. Okay. They, they claim that was 14, but I want you all to know that that was a lie. Well, I didn't do much, did it? Okay, that was just eight shakes. And it counted nine. I do hear the pendulum inside knocking around a bit, so I, I guess I will have to be careful about that. What? No, that was bad! No! So now that we've done that, uh, what, how's the strength? Yes! Okay, the strength heart actually went up one. Okay, so I just have to train a whole lot. I'm going to assume this means that the strength meter is not something that you have to fill out, like, mandatorily, you know? I also did see on the back, I, we have some confirmation here about the actual time it takes for them to evolve, and it does indeed look like from being born to going to in-training 2, or, you know, baby 2, it takes an hour. And then from in-training 2 to rookie, 1 to 1.5 hours. Uh, so yeah, it could take some time. I guess I'm just gonna be spending the next hour just, you know, struggling. You know, because baby, need lot of attention, need lot of food, and apparently a lot of training. Well, I'm excited to kind of discover what this thing's all about. Day to day, I'll be checking in and telling you what I've learned from both my research and my own experiences with the device, as well as what Digimon we got. I don't know what Mokumon's going to evolve into, but seems all good. Oh, also those symbols, uh, the top one that looks like Mokumon is sick, and the bottom one that looks like beef jerky is injury. I'm just going to have to try to remember that one.
Well, all Mokumon sets here in, is Mokumon for an hour. God, I'm not used to baby Digimon staying in their baby form this long. Uh, while they're doing that, let's go see what people are doing on our Discord. Nick the Raptor Wolf says, I just received my Digivice! And they're super excited, and they've got Agumon in there, and that is a really nice shell. It reminds me of a melon. Some kind of cucumber melon. Whitmore actually shares with us a clip. They've got Armageddon, looks like Apocalymon, and then... Bergermon, actually. Aw, oh, thanks for sending in the clip, Whitmore. They're beautiful. Pulse of Me says they went from Renamon X to Leomon. Well, they said Leo Minster X, but I, I don't know if that's a typo or if it's a fandom thing that I don't know about, but I'm pretty sure that's just Leomon X. You know, aka Leomon with a cape. But the black and the red combination here, the color of this shell is just super top. Like, name that has a small X and a big X, and then the name, and then after the name, there's a big X followed by a small X. Full that energy. I want it so bad, though. That is a good shell. Elise has got the this really rare mana fee virtual pet and it's just like maximum egg i've never seen a virtual pet that's actually just shaped like an actual egg like tamagotchi had the good sense to make their devices kind of flat but this one just defies my this I, I, it's messing with me it's messing with me that i could do an easter egg hunt crack one of the eggs open and then it could just be that thanks for all the updates everyone good luck with your pets even the mana fee one even though the egg shell kind of freaks me out I'm sure it's a fun device. I'm sure it's a beautiful, fun device. Mokumon, how are you doing? Here, I guess I won't find out that way. Listen to this, like, faltery beep it does whenever you go back. Okay, hold on. Ready? Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Listen. Oh. One more time. What a strange beep. I appreciate the pendulum cycles because they take what Digimon are and they just kind of put more value into it. They didn't just recycle what was already available. They they actually added on to it. The animations are a little more fleshed out. The sounds are a little more varied. I like it. I like the direction that this device was heading in. I, I am kind of sad that Bandai stopped and they just went back to the super basic stuff. I mean, not that the super basic stuff is bad. Basic stuff's good sometimes. Oh, what do you need? Is it everything? I knew it, it's everything. Oh my God, you need training. I guess I'm gonna go train this kid forever. Uh, so that's, uh, I hope this has become a thing. The, the training's really intense, and I still have bombs I gotta make. Did you break a rock? Are you thinking about it? Well, you kind of broke a rock. Okay, I'm gonna shake it over here to see if I can really get, like, a ton of shakes. Here we go. Hardcore mode! Is it, is it a million? Okay, 40. <laughs> I did all that work and it was 44. Wait, what? Oh yeah, so more is not better. Well, I guess I gotta figure out the right number of shakes or else this baby's gonna be, you know, dead. Or at least unhappy. We can't have that. But I'll figure that out. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. Thanks, patrons, for supporting my channel, especially our larger patrons, Shifter, Dogtrainer89, and Kitsy Fluff. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.